In the 1950s, as the British abandoned colonization of Northern Africa, they hastily combined two separate territories into one Sudan. Religion and oil ignited a civil war, pinning the Arab North against the Black Christian and Animus South. The poor thing was that the people were being shot. Many people have been killed. Women who were running with her were being raped. Boys like us have been enslaved, others were brutally killed. In the year 1987, the government announced to kill all male child in the South, regardless of the age. If you are found you are a boy, they can just take you, maybe 12 years or 16 years, they can just catch you, you know. They, they can even shoot you, or they can even take a needle, you know, needle. They come and make your teeth, you know. They, they just make a hole in your teeth. They, they want to make you sterilize when you grow up. When our village was attacked by a Muslim government troop at night, I took my own way. And my mom, my dad, they took their own way. I was in a dilemma. Have they died? Are they still alive? All the small-born children were putting in the house in my place. And they locked the house and they burned the house. All children burned in the house. So we were told by the elders that all children were burned in the house. All men who were living there are dead except people who run to the bush. So we can't go back to the village. After the attack on our villages, we played children without parents. The number was 27,000 young men from 10 to 5 years old. Forming a line that stretched for miles, the boys set a course across sub-Saharan Africa towards Ethiopia in search of safety. In order to survive, they formed makeshift families to take care of one another. My uncle was 11 then. He was the oldest. He took care of three of us. That was the family. As the boys traveled further from their villages, the lush savanna landscape they grew up with along the River Nile soon gave way to a harsher desert-like terrain, which lacked food, water, and shelter. How long we should walk? We can walk for 100 years. We can walk for two years. I don't know how long we can walk. We ran without anything, any, anything to, to eat. It was so difficult, people, many people were starving. We didn't have water to drink. So what happened is, we were eating the mud. Or somebody had to urinate so that you drink the urine. Children are crying. Me, I also cry too. But when I cry, there's no tears coming, coming out of my eyes. The boys had finally reached the border into Ethiopia, barely resembling their former selves. They had passed through a world without food or water. They had survived attacks by lions and hyenas. And they had survived the bombing raids of the Northern Arab government who wanted to see them finished off. A camp was formed in Ethiopia that provided the boys with three years of relative calm. But when the government of Ethiopia toppled in 1991, the lost boys were forced to flee once again, this time 
back through the Sudan towards Kenya.